Right, so this is what I ended up with. And um, all the code is gonna be on my GitHub. And the thing that you have to not worry about is the CSS because I think everything is gonna be understandable. I have fragments, I have header, I have a, I'm using a library called, uh, a module called style flex component to have like fast flex box. I'm using style components. If you don't know about style components, please go ahead and check it out in um, a course we have. So basically I have three components, app, header and notification. If we go to the app, um, you will see that I have the header and the notifications, all right? Um, notification is a very simple component. It has text, scene, and the ID, all right? The ID will be for later, but basically this is how it looks. And when it's seen, when scene is true, then it turns into no color in the border. And when these buttons as well have a true, they become like it's it been seen, all right? So that's what happens when it's seen or not seen, okay? Yeah, seen here, all right, there we go. Now the buttons, I'm passing a prop. Again, this is all shit you should see uh, from the style components course, not from this course, it's useless here. And also here I have a counter of the notifications. Of course, there is only shitty data now. If you go to the header presenter, it's just shitty data, all right? I'm using Fontosum. I didn't install it before. I'm using it, um, Fontosum right here. You have to install it and then you have to paste something at the top of your HTML so it works, some bullshit CSS. All right, so what I want to do it's, um, I want to explain to you the part that we're going to move here and what we need to accomplish, all right? Basically, we need to make the component header, all right, be aware of the notifications, all right? Because he needs to know, this nice number here needs to know how many notifications are they, okay? And also, the, the application, all right, should be aware of the notifications that are happening the notifications that there are currently. I know that we can put everything on the container. Here we put the notifications on the state, all right? And it goes inside of presenter and we can just pass the notifications here and just render notifications here. That will be possible, but that will be passing too many props, all right? So what I want to show this to you is that we're going to accomplish this with the React Context API without touching the props and without passing props, okay? As you can see here, this takes no props at all, all right? So we're gonna put the notifications here, like an array of notifications, and we're not gonna pass any props, and then we are going to consume the notifications from the number, all right? And also, whenever we press a notification here, on click, this button on click will see a notification and this one will delete the notification, all right? And again, we're not gonna pass these functions, all right? We're not gonna create the function, pass it to the presenter and then pass it to the notification. We're not gonna do this, all right? No props passed. Just to show you how you can replace Redux at any time, all right? So the first thing we need to do is that we need to create a something called a store, all right? Oh, by the way, this is my typography um, file, it's just CSS, it's just a styling, all right? So a new file, I'm gonna call this store.js. This is gonna be separate, all right? Because I will need to import it later, all right? And this is the easiest part of the course. I will say import React from React, all right? And I will just export a variable called store, all right? And you know what, I'm gonna do this. const store equals React, create context, all right. And I pass null here. This is the default context, all right? It's like a shape. And then export default store. That's it. So this creates a store. If you remember in Redux, we have a store and we have a provider, all right? So the store is where everything is stored, all right? Where all the data is stored. That is a store. And then we need also to create a provider. All right, the provider is the one that is going to be able to give to the children of, this, of the um, provider all the data. All right, so we're going to go to application, 
and application container. All right, and from here, I am going to import store from store. By the way, the reason I'm doing this and I'm not doing this store is because I created this thing here, all right? That's the only reason. All right, so I say store, okay? And now all I have to do is I have to say something like this. For example, check this out. I will say store, which is the one I just created now, store, right? And I say provider, all right? And that's it. I don't know if you remember, but also Redux had a provider, all right? And that's it. Now everything inside of app presenter, this means app presenter and everything inside, now can get access to the store, all right? This is the first part. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can consume from the provider, all right? And that will be in the next one. This is a very short course, but it's very condensed. So that's it. Update your stuff and create the store. Uh, remember, we are able to do this without this bullshit because of the node environment, all right, that we have here. And that's it. I will see you on the next one, all right? Update, create the store, and wait for me. See you there.